I'm actually recording a video, which would be really nice if you guys would shut up. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Bear Drew Abort. Another video has been released by the YWAM Media Department. This one focuses on Professor Michael Alcon, affectionately known as Mick. He was on board for two outreaches. His experience as a doctor includes time working in a civilian hospital, as an officer and doctor in the Israeli Defense Forces. He has also headed up two Israeli humanitarian missions in Africa and Cambodia. He gave an interview, and this video was made detailing his service, impressions, and beliefs about YWAM and what it's doing. I hope you enjoy. I'm Michael Alkan. I'm a doctor from Israel, and this is my second outreach with YWAM. What inspires me on the mission is the deep faith, which really is the fuel for this whole operation. I felt very confident to serve as a leader and a teacher to the other volunteers and to the local staff from whom I learned so much and tried in return to teach them. In order not to be bored, I brought two old friends of mine. They're both doctors. They've both been with me on other missions, so I know I can trust them fully, and there's, they're people to cross a river with. I've been seeing a lot of malaria, tuberculosis, and plenty of leg ulcers, which are called tropical ulcers. The most amazing disease we have seen was uh, filariasis or elephantiasis. Most of us have seen a picture while we were in medical school and never again. The rare condition limits the people's ability to walk. It becomes hard. They have huge feet which look like elephant feet and that's where the name comes from. I wrote the name of the drug of choice into the health book knowing that the health post never had that. Probably the provincial hospital doesn't have it. And then we called the ship and they found in the pharmacy of the ship a load of the medication and sent it over. And we gave it to the local nurse as a gift from YWAM, explaining exactly how to use it. We gave a drug named albendazole to every child in the village, which will prevent the spread of filariasis. And we have done our job. We are more than 100 people on board. Yes, the ship runs on diesel, but it actually runs on faith, which makes everything fall into place, which makes people want to help each other and the patients and everybody. And I find this absolutely amazing. Well, there you have it, another video. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Adam, when are you going to make your own videos and stop mooching off everybody else? Well, I'm getting back to that now. We've been really busy on board, fixing a lot of different things and a lot of different things going down right afterward. Hopefully soon we'll be back to our normal pace and I'll have some time to make some more videos. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend ahead of you. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon.